Jesus' birth was a joyous occasion. Marked by angels, shepherds, and wise men. His birth was to bring peace on earth to those on whom his favor rests. But peace does not come without a price. Jesus' birth, a pure and hopeful event, has always been associated with death. The first birth in Bethlehem would be inconsequential without the second birth, the one in the tomb, the resurrection. For he was born to die. And those associated with Jesus risked their own deaths as they do still today. At the time of his crucifixion, most of his disciples were hiding in fear of losing their own lives. Only John was at the foot of the cross, the only one willing to risk his own life. As a child, Jesus' first birth also brought death to others around him. For Herod was not prepared to give up his life or his seat of power for some newborn king. So he took the life of all the boys under two years old in Bethlehem. From the beginning, even from his birth, Jesus' life had brought death to those around him. Today, Jesus calls on us to die. He calls on us to take up our crosses and follow him. He calls on us to remove ourselves from the seat of power in our own lives and allow him to sit on that throne. Jesus came to bring us new life. But you cannot have a new life without death of your old life. Moreover, he came to bring order where there is chaos. Peace where there is war. Justice where there is injustice. Freedom where there is slavery. But for this to happen, there must also be death. A death to the old ways, the ways of the world, unjust structures and practices of our world and our society. But this starts in the church, and it starts with us choosing a voluntary death to our old selves. Are you willing to be like the disciple John, to not worry about the cost to your own life? And to follow Jesus from the manger into the wilderness, into the ministry, and even up the hill and onto the cross. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, the wise men gave you gold. They knew you were a king. The wise men gave you incense, and they knew you were God. And the wise men gave you myrrh, and they knew that you would die. The wise men followed the light of a star to find you in Bethlehem. You are the light of the world. Help us to follow your light so that we may live as children of God. Amen.